yeah. I mean, I, I was in the commercial on uh, one time, so, but yeah, I was I was a part of that. I know about it. I think we all have seen, you know, the online Uncle <laughs> Drew and going to a park, and I think all of us in our younger versions self wish we could be a part of. I wish at twenty five. I could have gone to a park dressed like that and yeah, you know and played cool. horse and took money and shot horses <laughs> guys at 25. Right. Um, so that's what was appealing personally for me to this project. Um, the phone call. I think that <laughs> that <laughs> they called and asked. You know, there was an audition for the part of Betty Lou, and I was like, oh, okay, no problem, I'll, I'll be there, I'll pay for myself to come, actually, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I came, but the, the key for me was just to buy into it. I've been acting since high school, and I love it, so when I showed up, I was actually dressed like an old lady, and I walked in and was in full character from the time I got there to leave. They were laughing, even when I changed to go back to the airport, I was still in character, so <laughs> I just felt like you, you have to own it, and it was a great opportunity as a role model for those young girls and women out there who play basketball. Oh, man, that was, that was, that was <laughs> tough. Was like, hey, we said, oh, man, it was tough. Uh, long, you know, a lot of sticky... It, it was it was tough. It was. It, it started was, off it was at about three three and a half hours, and we got it. First of all, the makeup people and the people that put on the prosthetics they're the real MVPs of this For whole real. thing yeah. because they were phenomenal awesome. at applying this every single day, Monday through Friday. So we got it kind of needled down to about two and a half. But um, she says she was watching Games of Thrones and what Insecure yes. and. We He's were like, listening to music. Having, we had, yeah, we had like a party session. up there, a little <laughs> DJ session, so it all worked out. We had so much fun. I mean, I think the key for us is we're, we're athletes, we're focused, we want to do our best, and we showed up to do that. But then it became so much more working with Lil Rel, who was very talented, who would drop in. You know, he made it funnier. He would change his lines, and we see that happen. It's like, oh, okay, we got to learn it. You know, we can ad lib too. We have, we have, we have to step up our game. And then Nick Kroll was, I mean, he was hilarious. And they changed their lines so much that it was just really amazing to see. And then Tiffany Haddish comes, and obviously she's amazing. She gets her lines in two minutes, reads it does her lines then changes them and then it was even funnier and it was just like wow just seeing the magic happen chemistry was really important and i think this cast had it start to finish erica ash was really funny um and it just watching it all come together we're really proud of the message that it's heartfelt we're really proud of the basketball part of it and we're happy with the movie Betty Lou um, is a church woman, and I, I really tap into my grandma, who's been a part of the church since I've been born, and always, my grandma is a little bit bent over, has been for quite some years, but on Sunday she's not, because she's dressed, you know, she's her Ann Taylor on, and her Neiman Marcus, I mean, everything is really nicely done, and in her church hat, and I think for me it's like, but don't mess with my grandma, because she will tell you off. And I felt like that was Betty Lou. Betty Lou has a lot of love. She loved the Lord. She loved Preacher. But her passion is, you know, her man, and she wants him back. And so I was just channeling my grandma somewhat because she's feisty. My grandma could have had a bat, <laughs> you know. So I just felt like going back in between that. And then, you know, I was feisty on the court, of course. So once we got into uniform, once, I, once Betty Lou got into uniform, that part was easy. Well, it's funny because I thought we were all cast perfect, perfectly for this. You've got a four-time dunk champion, but he's confined to a wheelchair and doesn't speak. <laughs> he's one of the most <laughs> outgoing. outgoing, very, I mean. He has a big personality. A huge personality. Yeah. So that's Boots. And then people assume, you know, three-point shooting, dead-eye shot. But I'm playing a guy that's the basically blind. The killer on the court. And can't basically shoot. blind. They can't shoot. <laughs> so that's what made it great 
for us to be, I mean, she is such a loving woman, but she plays, as you mentioned, this fiery character chasing her man down with a yeah, bat. bat. Something I would never do in real life. No, maybe you would. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe you would. No. I, nobody call. I just I think it was just everything was well cast. And Lights, I, I tried to be as, give him an honest, you know, not being able to see, but thinking that he's still the baddest shooter in the oh, building. Right. Um, I, hopefully I gave him justice. Oh, uh, yeah, big time sneakerhead. Uh, <laughs> Boots, man, he's just quiet, you know, and mm -hmm. just waiting for his time to, to ball out, you know, waiting for his team to get back together. You know, he waited patiently the whole movie to, uh, you know, to, to open up, to show, you know, what he can do and who he was. So it was he was pretty cool. Well, thank God I was paired with Nate because Nate's the dancer between us two, but really uh, probably of all of us, and then Kyrie, they're <laughs> the, the dancers of the group. Right. Um, so thank God I was paired with him, and I was like, man, was just make me look good. Just yeah, make me that. look we good. Yeah, we did We practiced in between sets, you know, yeah. when we're, whenever they were doing something else, me and Reggie would get together at lunch or after lunch, just like, even if it's like five to ten minutes, you know, let's practice. Uh, it was it was cool, man. It made it easy for us when it was time for us to do yeah. that scene. It was easy. Made it definitely comfortable for me because he's used to doing all that. Yeah, you know, dancing I, is, uh, I can't do all that. Yeah, I can't we do can all, teach that. Him all that. I was he's like, like all that. Yeah. He lost it already, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Am I messing up? I'm doing the no, robot. Doing the I'm like, okay, he lost it already. <laughs>